coordinating Paul's schedule wasn't easy. I mean, uh, between him and the stripper, she'll be here. At, you know, <laughs> the, uh, anyway, so thank you for that. And then if you didn't see it, Clara in my office uh, put together that uh, poster of the Trinity Fountain. It's from the, the web dam, right? So, uh, so make sure you sign that so uh, John can see who is here today for, uh, for this happy hour. Um, so I just want to say a couple things about John. And uh, are you drunk yet? <laughs> so, he was drunk two beers ago. Okay. So, so uh, one thing. So we all know that, uh, like for most of us here, except for Ronnie Swanner and Norman probably, I mean, most of us here have never, at Trinity, have never been at Trinity without John Green. So right. it's, a, it's a weird thing, right? It's mm -hmm. like, it's like you look down and you forgot to put your socks on or something. I don't know. So, so, um, so I thought of three things about John that I just wanted to, to share. And first was that uh, about uh, what a commitment, he, what a Trinity guy he has always been. Hey, Gary Neal. Um, you know, whether, okay, I gotta look at my notes to make sure I don't forget stuff. <laughs> uh, whether there was a dinner or um, a banquet or hors The food motif. Yeah, yeah, I was calling, okay. <laughs> um, something involving everyone. Something involving Aramark. Um, John was always there. Any campus event, he would be there. And so um, his, uh, he embodies kind of love and loyalty for the workplace. So I think we're all very grateful for him, to him for that, and what a great role model he is uh, to all of us. And I remember when I uh, first came to Trinity, being at the pool, and John was there with uh, little Maria Green, and then they had this baby, Mark Green, Terrorizing in the pool. So anyway, so um, number two, John is just a really generous man and his generosity has been not just to the institution but to the people that work there. Anybody who's come into contact with John knows that he's the first guy there to help out, extend the hand. He and, he and Barbara uh, hosting international students, adopting international students, um, just uh, even, even bringing in uh, teams from their kit from his daughter's school, Millsaps, when they came to Trinity. I mean, he would reach out. So John always did the little things for everybody. I think he, I think he paid for a foosball table for his guys down in the break room. This is foosball. Um, so, and then third, um, whether it's uh, the Red Bricks and More campaign, or his ideas and projects, or the countless buildings he helped renovate, tear down, rebuild, re-renovate, uh, I don't think anybody knows I don't think anybody knows our campus better than John Green, uh, brick by brick, uh, square foot by square foot. So where all the skeletons are buried. He knows where all the skeletons are buried, absolutely. So uh, we have a small token for you, uh, and then Paul McGinley is going to say a few words from Athletics. So come on up, John. So, um, so your friends and facilities helped make this, okay? So, so the one thing I haven't mentioned is what, what is he most famous for? Yeah. Driving fast. Driving fast, absolutely. So, what a legacy, John. So, this is, uh, this is the actual steering wheel oh, no. from your golf cart. Oh, no. <laughs> Is that weird to anybody else? <laughs> there you go, John. 